This is called the Longhorns Truck Stop here behind me. The state line is four miles away if I go on I-10, but we're going north. We're going to Carryville. We're going to cross the bridge, and I'll show you why when we get there. Seguin. 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 I've never been greeted that way before. I got them on, on my GoPro. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, that right beside that uh, other trailer is the boondocker site. You can go down there and uh, you can uh, you can probably make it with Casita. You can probably make a complete circle and just back it in there. This is the burial site of Juan Seguin the history of this town is this colonel dedicated to Colonel San N. Seguin, the Republic of Texas, a true Texas hero and patriarch. There's the Texas flag, a single star. We're going to go down it slowly. So I want to read it too later on. So he was a, a hero. Of Texas. outside of the town of Seguin, Texas. Colonel Juan Seguin was a hero during the Texas Revolution with a, a statue of him on a horse at the uh, town square. But yeah, it's a great story if you want to look it up on, uh, you know, Google it. I've forgotten your name. Huh? I forgot your name. Oh, it's Mike. Mike. Yeah. He hates to throw anything away. <laughs> I, I made cheap chili the other day. And what I make cheap chili, it's one can of Rotel, two cans of uh, ranch style beans with hamburger meat and some spices. So he goes in the house to get a beer and he comes out with those three cans. <laughs> out the garbage can. <clears throat> and he's done that a couple of times, you know. I'm not going to go out of my way to save every damn can. Now, I do save the aluminum beer cans for him mm -hmm. and the cat food cans. But <laughs> Who made the uh, Texas flag? It's like off that side on the house, that building, that uh, on his porch, that white oh, and I don't know who made that. I, I like know, that. Uh, I know Joe made the, the deck oh, okay. when, when they moved in here. Mm -hmm. Joe and the guy next door, Charlie, and the old man, he used to get around pretty good. You How know? old is he now? 80... 87, I think, then. Was it 87? Yeah, I, I think, I know it was a 7, I don't know if he was 80 or 70, but yeah, 7, it, 87. It's 87, then, because he was talking about how, how old Christmas is. 
and I said, that's the old man owes them cows. I said, he's 92. And he says, you see that man? He's out there feeding them cows, walking all over that field. And I said, yeah. And he probably will till he dies. You know? I went down there to uh, <clears throat> get a little film and pictures at that big black bull with the horns. And as I, I was taking it real slow, and I was getting a little closer, and then he kind of looked at me. <laughs> and I stopped, but I got one more, two more steps. They won't, they won't bother you. They'll, oh, okay. They'll stick your head up there and expect you to pet them. Oh, they look so mean, though, man. I thought he could come and get me. I, I, go, I go down down there, you know, right next to the fence with the lawnmower, hmm. and they'll see me coming, and they'll turn their head and just watch me. <laughs> well, I'm going to go over there now and try that. I don't think they'll hurt you. <laughs> you know, uh -oh. I've never been afraid of them. But. Yeah. Man. Well, so one of the, I think it's that little black and white one right there, about six months ago, when it was still pretty small, it tried to get under the fence over here, got hung up. Mama was standing there behind it. Ooh! <laughs> you know, and I was go going along with the lawnmower, and I said, Wow, what happened there, you little shit? So I walked over there and picked up the wire. That's all I had to do. I picked up that wire. <laughs> he was gone. Mama took off running after him. I said, keep your head out of them small holes like that. <laughs> well, I'm going to get your picture.